It was everyone's dream in British football to join Manchester United, who were at that time, I think, without doubt, the finest side in England and potentially the finest club side in the world. Harry Gregg joined Manchester United in December 1957. Just two months later, he was at the centre of the club's darkest day. On the fringe of a Munich airport lies the wreckage of an airliner. Manchester United were flying home from a European Cup tie in Yugoslavia. Having stopped to refuel in Munich, Flight 609 prepared for a third attempt at takeoff in blizzard conditions. Everyone in the aeroplane was afraid at that time. And no one was courageous enough, I don't know what you suppose you call it, moral courage to stand up and say, I'm not going. And I feel myself, if someone had, anyone had stood up and said, I'm not going, I feel no one would have gone. And I remember thinking to myself at the time, Christ, I'm going to get killed. And I've just made the big time. I never see my family again, and I won't see my parents. The Munich air crash claimed the lives of 23 people, including eight of Greg's teammates. The number would have been higher had it not been for his bravery. Having been thrown clear of the wreckage, Greg ran straight back in to save others, including teammates Bobby Charlton and Dennis Violet. Speaking ahead of the 60th anniversary of the tragedy, his memories were still vivid. That's a house it hit there. I remember a very, very brave man. The pilot shouting to me with a little tiny fire extinguisher in his hand, run, it's going to explode. I remember one after finding Bobby Charlton and Dennis Violet, finding them lying unconscious and dragging them away and throwing them over a load of rubbish. He saved strangers too, including Vera Lukic and her one-year-old daughter Vezna. 25 years on, they had the chance to thank him in person. So happy to meet you after so many years. <laughs> I'm going to kiss you. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, I don't. This part I don't like, but. Harry Gregg was an exceptional player, too. One of United's greatest goalkeepers, the Northern Ireland International was voted the best at the 1958 World Cup. While a series of injuries meant he never won a medal in nearly a decade at Old Trafford, he earned the love, respect and gratitude of the footballing world. Sport has and always will provide us with heroes. There will surely never be greater than Harry Gregg.